Why is there so much misery, so much disgrace, so much injustice, so many sicknesses, so many children starving, so many people starving? Why is there evil in this world? Why is there so much evil in this world? This is the question I will try to answer you who are in search of an answer, the truth which will set you free from the hell you are living in. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I would like you to pay attention to this Holy Scripture, please. The Holy Scripture reads the following, God speaking to Adam and Eve in the beginning of the creation. God put all the fruitful trees in the garden of which he had planted for Adam and Eve. He left it all for their availability. There was only good, good things. There were only good things in the Garden of Eden. There was no evil. There was no option of evil. There was no option of good or evil. There was only one option, which is good. The tree of good, Adam and Eve could have eaten freely. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, no. This only tree was there in the garden, but it could not be touched. Why? Because on the day they would touch or eat of the fruit of this tree, they would then die. And it is exactly what happened. As long as Adam and Eve had not yet tasted from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They only had the option of good, so they did not have to choose, to opt. They did not need to make a choice because the choice was already fixed. It was already sorted out with God. Whatever they chose was good, was according to the will of God. And so Adam and Eve did not have problems. They had no arguments. Adam and Eve were in harmony between one another. They were synchronized one with the other. There was perfect peace. There was perfect health. Everything was perfect. Why? Because there was only good. There was no evil. There was no evil. So, when God said to them, do not touch from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, God was placing a test for them, a test of their obedience, of their servanthood, a test that they were servants servant creatures of God. But when they touched and ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, then good ended and evil entered the lives of both of them in the life of earth, earth's life, the earth the ground was cursed because of this choice of Adam and Eve. They wanted to choose. They wanted freely and spontaneously to curiously see what was evil as well. Because they only knew what was good. But now they wanted to know what was evil. From this moment onwards, destruction began on the face of the earth. Evil had authority over Adam and Eve. 
Thus far, they were perfect, perfectly free to indulge all the benefits God had granted them. But from the moment in which they chose to taste from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, so then they had access they had access to evil as well, evil as well, apart from good. So then hell broke through. Because from that moment onward, each one had to make his own choice. So Eve had her taste, Adam had his taste, and each one had to match one with the other if they wanted to live in peace and harmony. But this is not what happened because the children came and the children of their children and the entire humanity grew up with the second option, the option, the choice of evil. But then you say, oh, but I would never choose evil. I don't make evil choices. But this is the great lie Satan preaches. Because he suggests, he suggests evil with a makeup of what is good. And therefore, people choose to what is, choose what is evil. That's why they have a bad marriage, the career which they study so long, they sacrifice for 10 years at times to graduate. And then they find out that was not what they wanted. So then he becomes upset, becomes frustrated, and seeks other decisions. It's a day to day. Every single day we make choices, all the time, every moment. The food we're going to eat, the clothes we're going to wear, how we're going to how we're going to get to work, the work which we're going to execute, the person whom we would like to get married to, if he or she is or not of good of God, and such choices, my friends. From the moment men had access to the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, men has only chosen what is evil. And this is why this world is chaotic. This is why there is so much greed, pride, prepotency, arrogance. This is why people murder each other. They murder others. This is why there are sicknesses, infirmities, molestation, misery, poverty, because the ground itself, the earth itself was cursed because evil also entered the planet. And then we have the result of which today we witness. So you who watch me this moment, and you say, you know, if I was Eve, I wouldn't have tasted of that fruit. Really? But then I ask you, how many times have you disobeyed the word of God? How many times, my friend, have you been rebellious to the word of God? How many times have you let go of seeking the knowledge of God, the desire, the will of God, out of curiosity to try to taste a fruit which is unknown to you and you end up finding out that it's not worth it? So many times, many times, we choose evil the majority of times. The majority of times we choose evil. And consequently, we reap the fruits of that which we planted. So your life is a result of your choices. 
my life has been a result of my choices. God exists. God exists. However, He gives us intelligence to choose the right path, to choose what is good. But if we turn our back to good, to what is good, obviously we will submit, we will be subject to evil, and consequently we will suffer the consequences of that choice. From the moment evil entered the earth, evil became the Lord of humanity, and the world is evil. Humanity is evil, perverse, it's evil, wicked, because it's egocentric, it's greedy, it only thinks about itself. So then you see the wars which exist around and the private wars which are engaged in one's own home, specifically because of a bad choice or bad choices which were made. Think with me. This is why the Apostle James said, God is not mocked. What a man plants, he will reap. If you make a bad choice, you will reap the fruits of this bad choice, whether you like it or not. This is a fact. It's a fact. It's a reality. Oh, but God is good, God is merciful, God is love. Yes, God is love, but He's also justice. You have the right to choose good or evil. This is your choice. It does not depend on God. The decision, our choices only depend on us. Each one makes his own choice. Of course, when a child is a child, is innocent, is pure. He cannot choose. He does not know how to choose. But it does not matter. Everyone, sooner or later, have to make their own choice. And one choice, which is a bad choice, can bring drastic or and evil even lethal results, the choice of drugs, of addictions, the person chooses to smoke. Oh, I do not bring evil to anyone. I just smoke. No, you do not bring evil to anyone, but you bring evil to yourself. So when you smoke, you cause evil to the one who is by your side. When you create that, you, you, you raise that carbon dioxide and that person who will use that carbon dioxide and will also be like you, will be affected as you have been affected. And many are checking in the hospitals to make surgeries or try to heal the cancer which is provoked by tobacco. Not just tobacco, there is alcoholic beverages, prostitution, adultery, theft, lies, all of this, all of these choices, all of these offerings, we could call it, are the offerings the world, or rather hell, the Lord of evil has offered and the, the unwise have accepted. And this is why humanity, humanity has been suffering the consequences ever since they began to eat from the fruit of the tree of good and evil, of the knowledge of good and evil. And then one asks, Bishop, is there no way for us to reverse the situation? There is a way for you to reverse, of course, of course. Jesus promises to give us the fruit of the tree of life. Pay attention. Jesus promises to give us to eat to those who obey his word, who follow his advice to eat from the tree, from the fruit of the tree of life, which neutralizes the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But how can I eat of this fruit when you 
hear and obey the word of God. When you begin to hear and obey the word of God, then you begin to reverse this series of bad choices you have made in your life and this chance, this opportunity is for all. It doesn't matter whether they are Catholics, Spiritists, Christians, witch doctors, whether they're good or evil, traditionalists or Buddhists, Muslims, Jews, it does not matter. It does not matter whether you're a good person or a criminal. It does not matter whether you're a man or a woman. It does not matter whether you're heterosexual or homosexual or lesbian. Nothing matters. You have a mind. You have a brain and your life depends on the choices you made in your you make in your mind not the heart but in the mind so when you follow the word of god you obey the word of god and you follow the advices of god then you reverse the situation you have suffered because of having eaten or tasted from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Do you get what I'm saying, my dear friends? Which means our lives are projected by us. I am the one who chooses the career I will pursue. I made the choice of my wife. I was the one who chose my life. I was the one who chose to obey the word of God. And due to this obedience, for 55 years I have been doing this. Praise be to God, I am happy. I am happy. I chose Esther as my wife because of this choice. According to the word of God, we will complete in December 48 years of marriage, 48 years of marriage. So, my friend, was it luck from my side? No, it was not luck. Was it her who was lucky? No, neither with her. Because just as I chose her, she chose me. So we united our faith, we united our love, and we built our house, our home, based upon the direction of the Holy Spirit, upon the direction of the fruit of the tree of life. And this is what we have sought to transfer to people, to transfer to those who have a sound mind, because those who lack a sound mind want to follow their own thoughts, they want to make their own choices. And because of this, they have gone wrong in life. They've failed in life. And this is not what God created for you. God has not prepared for you. God did not create evil. God only created good. He is good. But in order for you to enjoy the benefits of what is good, you need to turn to good and do what good commands you to do. And obey the voice of what is good in order for you to be blessed, to be blessed. Praise be to God.